Welcome to the Department of Pesticide Regulations CalPest video series. The topic of this video is the user profile. Once you have signed into your CalPest account, the user profile can be accessed by clicking the user's name, shown here as Test Portal, displayed on the main menu at the top of the page. This action will open a drop-down set of menu options. Click on Profile to proceed, and you will be navigated to the profile page. The profile displays a set of menu options down the left side of the page. From here, you can access the following options. Profile, change profile, my company's, change password, change email, and deactivate account. Let's start with profile. The profile will display the following user information. User email, user name, user address, and user phone number. Next, the Change Profile page gives you the ability to edit the displayed name and contact information. If you would like to change the user address, fill in the address information. When you click the Submit button, the address is verified with USPS to obtain the most accurate address details. As you can see here, the address has been successfully updated. Now, let's cover the My Companies page. The My Companies page displays all companies you are either associated with or are authorized and verified to work on behalf of. You can create and access the company profile from this page. For additional information about company profiles and creating specific company requests, refer to the CalPest user guide or the CalPest company profile video. The password used to sign into your CalPest account can be updated by clicking on the Change Password tab. This will open the user details screen where you will be prompted to enter your email address and follow the subsequent steps to change your password. The email address associated with your account can be updated by clicking the Change Email tab. Clicking this tab will open the user details screen where you'll be prompted to enter your current email address and password. Select Continue and follow the steps to change your email address. For additional information on how to change the email address and password associated with the user profile, please refer to the CalPest user guide. Finally, you can deactivate your CalPest account by clicking on the Deactivate Account tab from the User Profile page. This will prompt a box to pop up asking if you're sure you want to deactivate your account. Click the Deactivate button on the pop-up to confirm and finish deactivating the account. It's important to note that any requests associated with any companies will be withdrawn, draft submissions will be deleted, and you will be logged out of CalPest. However, if there are pending submissions, they will not be withdrawn, and you will continue to receive email notifications until the submission contact has been changed. This concludes our video. If you need further assistance with the topics covered in this video, please refer to the CalPest user guide or reach out to the CalPest team at calpest at cdpr.ca.gov. Thanks for watching.